Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a FANO algorithm. Basically, it is a convolutional decoding and in that it is a sequential decoding. There are two methods basically for a convolutional decoding. One is a maximum likely decoding. It is a Viterbi algorithm, Viterbi decoder which we have already uploaded the video and also in the sequential we have two types. One is a stack algorithm and there is a FANO. And the stack algorithm already video is uploaded. You can uh, get this in the coding theory playlist and this Viterbi algorithm is available in uh, coding theory also as well as in uh, information theory coding playlist. One should know a convolutional coding tree diagram how to draw and in this our discussion metric is nothing but a hamming distance and survivor path the way how we had done in the Viterbi decoding. Here also we are going to find a survivor path considering the Hamming distance Hamming weight. Wherever it is less, that path will be selected. The simplest example for a tree diagram considering G1 equal to 111 and GT equal to 101, we are considered the rate half. And this is the way how you should write the tree diagram. And how to draw? A separate video is uploaded in my channel. You can go through. FANO algorithm is a basically a sequential decoding of a convolutional codes and whenever you want you pause the video and go through and try to do it parallelly along with this video. Just pause the video and uh, try to read. In this we don't have any stack reordering the way how we have done in the stack algorithm. And FANO algorithm examines a sequence of nodes in the tree. And it will either go to the forward or it will come backward depending upon the decision. So numerically we are going to discuss one example so that all these steps you can understand. Read it, pause in the video. Matrix of the next node computed by adding the connecting branches of the matrix. See this we have done in the Viterbi algorithm also. Previous matrix we consider before we calculate for a present node. If node is revisited, we have to recalculate. And uh, if no path found, and if threshold is changed, you know, if a uh, path is not found, beginning we are uh, uh, fixing a threshold, and we are trying. If you don't get, we change the threshold again. We try. And the same thing is given the flowchart form. You can just pause the video, go through. I don't want to spend a time to explain this algorithm. Instead of that, we can go to the numerical example and again you can revisit this so that you can attain and you can uh, completely understand. Pause the video, just go through. Whether you understand or not, don't worry. We will go to the example. I am sure you will understand the example. Decoder starts from the origin and metric value M will be 0 in the beginning. And forward node metric MF is greater than T threshold, then decoder will move forward. In our case, we are going to take an example as a 3. We will see the numerical example. It will be very easy to understand the algorithm. So before the Viterbi, other algorithms had been proposed for a decoding of a convolutional codes. Now in this example, we will take a G1, G2, 111, 101 and at time T1, T2, T3, see messages are 11011 and Coded is 11010100001. But received, I am receiving with some error. Instead of 01, I am receiving as a 00. Disagreement count of 3 is a criteria for backing up and trying to find an alternative path in the tree diagram. Pause the video, do it on this. Now, this is a tree diagram. What we are going to do? Received is 11. I will compare 1 1 with this branch and this branch. Next time 0 0 I will compare with this all the 4 depending upon the values how many distance what I am going to get after comparison. See, start from the origin. We have received 1 1. Now on this branch I have 0 0. Now I have 1 1. Let us find the Hamming distance. These are the two paths what I have. I have to find out the Hamming distance. Having distances I got between the 1 1 0 0 what is having distance I have to calculate similarly I have to calculate 1 1 and 1 1 having distance 
So how many distances will be how much? Yes, 2 and 0. Which one I have to choose? Choose the minimum path and follow this now. Again continue the same procedure. What I do now next is I have a 1 0, 1 more is received is 0 0. Compare these two. What is the hamming distance? 1. What is the previous hamming distance? 0. So this will become 1. Similarly compare 0 1 and 0 0. We will get a both 1 1 hamming distance. And now choose a minimum path. But both are saying what to do? Yeah. Choose randomly upper. So if I choose lower, nothing is going to happen. So you can choose any one. You will go to the right path only at the end. Let us take the upper portion and continue the discussion. Here we have a received is now I have a 0 0. I am comparing this again 0 0 with this 1 0. I am writing how many distance. 0 1 I am comparing how many distance is 1. Now which one I have to follow? One both are saying what I am doing upper portion I am following. Now again here I have to compare 1 1 0 1 0 0. How many distance I have to find out? Again both are same. Go to the upper portion randomly. Just we will see what will happen. Now this is 2. This is 2. I will go to the upper portion. I will repeat the same procedure. This I will compare with the received is what? I have received is 1 0. Compare those two with this. What I am going to get? Calculate. Pause the video and do calculate. Both are 3 3. Now what I have to do? 3 is my threshold. Come back. Where I have to start? This is a path. What I had now. But I have to come back. I have to start from here. Now, this is 2. Let us find out the hamming distance. Compare this 1 0 with a 1 0 and 0 1. I will get a hamming distance 2 and 4. Now again, threshold is 3. I can continue here. So what path I have to choose? The size. This path I have to continue. Again, I have 0 and 1 combination. Now find out the hamming distance 0 1. 0 0. So how many distance when I found total will become 3 3. Here how many distance is 1 but previous I have to add. Na? So total it will become 3 3. Again come back. Where I have to start? Pray. Another alternative is this. Now again you have two options. Compare this with a 0 1. Again. Now I am comparing with a 0 1 and 1 0. How many distance I got is a 1 and 3. Again this is a minimum. Again I will choose this. And now again I will calculate here I got 2, 2. Again I will continue. Same procedure. Again I am comparing 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Add a hamming distance. Again I got 3, 3. Again come back. Why? Or the threshold is 3. And now continue here. So when I continue here again I have 0 and 1 combination. Now I got 4 and 2. See so this is the path what I can choose now. 2. Again, if I input, I have to continue this. But my inputs are over means I have to stop here. So, what I can do? Decode the message. So, now the decoding message is what? I have. So, from here, I have this path followed by this path and this path and this path. So, this is a decoded 1, 1, 0, double 1. So, this is the way how it works. And sequential decoding is viewed as a trial and error technique for uh, searching out a correct path in the core tree. And you can go through again a fan algorithm theory what we have shown in the beginning. You can go through the steps and you can go through the flowchart also so that now it will be easy for you to understand the concept. Reference Bernard Sklar textbook and Shulin textbook. For more information you can visit these links. Thanks for watching this video. Share this video if you like. Subscribe this channel. Thank you.